Power BI has some great functionality when it comes to conditional formatting. Um, you can use that in a number of different ways. You can use it in your titles of your visualizations. And of course, you can use it to show different values, highs and lows, numerous different things. Um, I want to use it today uh, with shapes. Um, there's been an update with shapes recently, and it really kind of allows you to use them in a, um, I think, in a more, a more flexible way. Um, what I want to do is use the shapes to really make it really, really clear to the user what value you are currently looking at when you're using something like um, a, a disconnected table um, slicing th through the data that way. And uh, yeah, so what am I talking about? So if you see here on this um, very small report that I put together, what we have is this visualization, this one, and this one. And these are three shapes. And the shapes that we're looking at are these um, chevrons, arrows. And what I've done for each chevron is to use a conditional formatting in the fill section, as you can see here. And it's really, really basic conditional formatting. So as you can see, I have my three, um, my three shapes and I have my three different, um, slice values. So if I click on now points running, the highlight goes to this one. And if I click on now on points, then the highlight goes to this one. So points. So you have this really large arrow pointing down at the data, which is shown on this visualization. Now on this visualization, I also have it in title. So, and also I have it here, of course, in the slicer itself. Um, but I think when you first look at the report, one of the first things that you will see is the shape, is the chevron, which is pointing down towards the name of the metric. And I think that kind of really helps, not for all dashboards, because you're not going to have space or you don't want to, of course, you don't always want to display stuff this way. Um, but I think there are plenty of times that this would be a useful addition to a report. Um, so as I say, the arrow is currently pointing down towards creativity, which means it is quite clear that in the report, we are currently looking at creativity. And of course, it says it here in the title as well. Um, and it's really simple to do. The measure is very straightforward and we're using switch, though in this case I could have used if, but I use switch. So a switch, if the selected value of this table and this column, so that's where I'm using my disconnected table. If the selected value is creativity, then return this hex code. If it's points, return this hex code. And if it's points running, return this hex code. So I'm simply saying, if it's creativity, give me this, which is purple. If not, then give me this um, transparent hex code. I could have used a different color, but I wanted it to completely match the background of my report. So the easiest way to do that is just say transparent, right? Uh, yeah. And so I've simply created that measure three times. So if I click on this one, you can then see selected points, selected color points is exactly the same switch selected value, same reference. But now I'm saying if it's creativity, I want transparent. If it's points, I want the purple. If it's points running, I want the transparent. And it's the same way in this one. Now my third one, now creativity is transparent, points is transparent, and points running is this purple value. And as on the first two, switch selected value. If the selected value of this column in this table is creativity, point or point running. So it's the same measure essentially three times. And then all we do is that we um, take that and we apply it to the visualizations. So now when I go on this one, I click on the chevron and I go on my, um, my fill and I click on this and then I can just tell, okay, so format by field value and it's called a selected color creativity. So I can just type for selected color and I click on selected color creativity and then I click on okay. And then for each one, I just choose the name of the, um, of the measure that I want to use in the conditional formatting. So really nice and straightforward. And now when I click on it, as I say, it takes the highlight from this one and it puts it into this one. 
Also, what I've done for you here in the background, I've just given it a little bit of an outline. So here, I've made the outline color a little bit darker than the, um, the actual background. And I've set it on quite a high transparency percentage so that it's really, really just like a very, very light outline color. So you can see it's kind of waiting to be filled. So it gives an indication that something is happening there. That's it. That, that's what I did. Um, I quite like how it looks. I think there are certainly use cases for it. Um, and I do like the fact that now when you look at a report page, you can make it very, very clear, very, uh, very quickly. Um, what value you're looking at. I think that can be quite helpful sometimes. Um, I hope you like this idea. I hope it inspires you to try it yourself and try other cool, better things as well. Um, feel free to give me a comment. Um, let me know how you feel about that. If you liked the video, please like the video by clicking. And as ever, subscribing would be wonderful. Thank you very much and goodbye.